Hi y'all and thanks for dropping by Design by Kathy. Today I'm going to do a, a pour that is going to involve some uh, cling wrap. I keep calling it saran wrap, glad wrap, plastic wrap, whatever you desire to call it. I'm going to be using that. We're going to have a dark background. Colors that I've chosen from my Pinterest art board on Design by Kathy. And we're going to do kind of like faux painting, kind of like a balloon smash. We're going to kind of see what happens. So let me get set up and let's get started. Now, I have my four colors here. These were colors that I chose. Uh, as I've, I've uh, mentioned before, I have saved on my artboard on Pinterest different color palettes. So I chose this color palette of a, a red, a brown, a khaki color, and black based off of one of those color charts. I'm going to be using the black as my background. Now, I have a lot of you ask about, you know, worried about wasting paint and using too much paint. I probably, I used about a half an ounce of paint in these three colors. Just about a half an ounce out of, this is a two ounce bottle and I probably used a half an ounce. Now, to this half ounce, I added two parts of the Floetrol. So, I've only got a half ounce of paint and my Floetrol in here. So we're not really talking about wasting that much paint. Now the way we're going to do this, we're not going to be wasting much of those at all if what I'm going to do even works. So, you know, that's the other thing. Don't be afraid to try... Um, just get a canvas, get some paints, a pouring medium, and, and if, if you don't have a pouring medium to start with, you can always use water. Now, when adding water, start with a little bit. You can always add to, you cannot take away. So, if you don't have a pouring medium, uh, generally Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot, any of those type places will carry uh, Floetrol. Any kind of a paint, paint store that has paint will have your Floetrol. Now, uh, to get the Li Liquitex um, and some of the others, you know, you need a craft store or order it from Amazon, which I have links down below to my Amazon page, which um, not only has things that I use, it has things I want, <laughs> my wish list, uh, my use list, and my wish list, I guess you could say. So, in other words, I don't want you to feel like, oh, I don't have the, I don't have the additive, I can't try this. But yes, you can. Also, in pouring paint, um, I know that some people, if, if you have an issue with, con, you know, control issues, um, I don't know how well that'll work work out for you. Uh, just just a generalization here because it's flowing. It's much like, and I've talked about this before, when you know when you were a little kid and you made played in the mud puddles, and you'll see water kind of break through a little area, and then all of the water starts flowing through that little area. You're flowing paint across a canvas, and you're manipulating it. It's going to go different directions. Unless you have something stuck on your canvas to totally control the flow, you can't totally control the flow. Um, you manipulate the direction, of course. I don't want to say that you absolutely have no control, but as far as a absolute control of where the paint is going to flow and how it's going to flow and how it's going to react with each other, that is generally out of your control to a great deal. Oftentimes I have something in my mind and I'll start it and it never it just doesn't even remotely come out like what I want it to. Now that being said, for those of you who have watched mine, I keep messing with it till I get something I like. 
So that's just me. Now, what I want to do with this, and I don't know, this is a total experiment, but I'm just going to dollop I'm going to be using kind of the same theory as the balloon smash, but I don't I don't want to use a balloon. I don't have a balloon. Um, I know I had somebody comment that it rem some of the things that I've done kind of reminds them of faux painting. I, I got into that. I did my bathroom. I faux painted my bathroom. Got the hang of it by the end of the bathroom. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to do a little bit of something similar to faux painting. Or should I say faux painting-ish? Now in this particular moment, you see I have these little circles and there is much control. But as this paint fl flows, if you were to walk away and leave it, it's going to continue to just flow out a little bit. So again, I'm talking about that control that um, that I've seen some that are maybe having a little trouble with. Don't worry about the control. Not, and especially not when you're first trying to pour paint. I want you to have fun with it. I don't want it to be a stressful thing. I don't think it, it should be a stressful thing at all. It should just be fun. Because what happens when we start doing things and it's no longer fun, you don't want to do it anymore. Now I'm going to take a piece of saran wrap. I'm going to, well, since I'm going to be wadding it up, I'm going to take off several because you know what happens when it sticks to itself. But it's okay for this. It's not saran. Ah, that was glad wrap. Yikes. Okay. <clears throat> I think I want a little bit bigger, bigger piece. I'm just going to wad it up. <clears throat> I've got my paper towels on hand. I'm going to lay this down over the circle. And I'm going to see what happens. I'm going to gently press. I can see it's kind of squirting out in places. And it left a little dollop that resembles ish a flower. Get a little bigger piece for this bigger one. Just all wadded up. Just gonna gently lay it on and just gently smush it. Not total squish, but just a gentle smush. Oops, I didn't have all of it there. There we go. As you can see, they're coming out in different sizes. They're kind of going their own kind of direction.
I'll do this one. I don't think I got a big enough piece for that last. Just a gentle, like I said, smush. I'm not swiping, I'm not moving or manipulating the saran or glad wrap, plastic wrap on here. And some of those, as you'll see, like that spot, that should just kind of fill in. I lifted straight up on that one. I think the straight up um, worked the best. I'm going to see if we can add. I've got more paint. I'm going to add a few more. Yeah. And I did it twice in a row. I can come back and cover that up with my black. Or I can use my hand and not let it happen again. I don't want to lay it over the ones I've already smushed. So let's see what we can do here. And I'll come back and fix that one with my black. Let's see if I can just get one more up here. I don't know. I'm going to look at it from some different angles. You're seeing a different angle than I am. And I get, I love it when you guys see something in the pore, like a face or a, one time it wasn't until I watched the video and I actually saw a sailboat in one of them, but I couldn't see it looking at it the direction I, I was. Anyway, that was kind of cool. And it's also kind of cool that you see those things and you tell me about it. I, I really lo love hearing that. Again, my color palette, I just picked off of um, my, one of my art boards on Pinterest, and it's, it's just called Art. Uh, I have a Design by Kathy board, clearly, but this one is just called Art, and in that one, I have saved lots of different color palettes for this very reason. Just sometimes you're looking at all your paints and like, okay... What colors do I want to put together? And sometimes people put colors together that I never would have imagined. And uh, so it's kind of fun to have that guide to go by. So I'm going to look at some different angles here. Now the black um, that I put on my base, it is, it is not nearly as thick as what a regular pour would be. It's not as thin as if I had just brushed on a coat of paint that does have the Floetrol in it. But it was just, if you saw the beginning, of course, I hope you did, you saw that I just brushed it on with a little sponge brush to spread it evenly.
I'm just going straight down in the center and then just gently smushing that little circle of paint out. And lifting it straight off. Clean up that little spot of the brown and add back in some black. Okay, now again I want to look at it at a different some different angles. I'll let you look at it from this angle that I'm looking at and I'm thinking I might need a couple of tiny ones in through here uh, to finish this off and I believe I have ex just enough paint to do two little tiny ones Now being careful not to run it over into any of my others, I'm going to just smush it straight down. Gently press and then pull it straight off. That one, my, it kind of hung there, but... Now you can put as many or as few as you like. Once it dries, uh, some of you, I don't know that I would put green stems on this. I don't know what kind of stems, if any, I would even do. Um, you know, you can also always, you know, connect them with some stems. Personally, I would wait till it was dry unless you were comfortable enough, which uh, I'm not. I'm, I don't know that I'll do stems. Uh, but I like that a lot of you uh, comment that you see possibilities. So I love that. That is the reason I do this. I do this because I love doing it and I have fun doing it. And I want you to see the possibilities and I want you to try it. As we all know, art is subjective. 
what appeals to one person may not appeal to someone else. I personally have never felt like being critical of someone's art. So I just want to toss out a little thank you for those of you who uh, kind of came to the defense there on the super tacky remark. But I guess that's part of life. I don't know. I don't understand it, but... It's the world we live in, maybe. I don't know. Now I'm going to do one more, I promise. But I'm going to kind of see if I can run this one. I want to run it. Well, we'll see what happens if I run it off the edge. I kind of think thought it'd be cool to have it like folding off the edge. If I can do that. I don't know this is kind of fun uh, I guess I could just do saran wrap and squish it all day long yeah it's not I'm not gonna get it off to the edge that's fine though we're gonna fill up that little hole perfect okay guys there we have it I'm stuck to the table there we have it I don't know yet what to call it. Uh, I don't know. It, it's it's turned out... It, I didn't know what it was going to turn out like. I'll be honest. I just wanted to try it. So we've jumped in. We've tried something. I hope you will jump in and try as well. Uh, don't hesitate to shoot me your questions. I love your comments. I uh, appreciate them so much. And your likes and thumbs up. And share with your friends. And then have a paint party. But I thank you all for watching, and if you're new to Design by Kathy, I hope you'll subscribe as well, and I'll see you all next time. Go pour some paint.